In this problem, they give us x equals, let's go ahead and write it down, c1 cosine t plus c2 sine t. And they tell us that this is a two-parameter family of solutions to this differential equation here. This differential equation models uh, a spring. A uh, spring will go up and down as time passes if you, if you pull on it, and this uh, DE models that. And so this is the solution to the DE, this, this x here. And they want us to basically find a solution to the initial value problem. So the initial value problem is this differential equation along with these two conditions. So, so to do that, basically, we have to use these two conditions and this x here to find the values of c1 and c2. So I'm going to go ahead and write down the conditions down here. So x of 0 is negative 1, and x prime of 0 is equal to 8. Okay, so before we use these conditions, let's go ahead and start by taking the derivative. So x prime, so c1 is a constant, so it hangs out. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this will be negative c1 sine t plus... Then again, c2 is a constant, so the derivative of sine is cosine, so c2 cosine t. Okay, now we're in a good position to apply our initial conditions. I'll call them ICs. So let's go ahead and apply the first one. So to apply the first one, you'll notice that x is equal to negative 1. So we have, I'll write it like this, x of 0. So we have c1 cosine of 0 plus c2 sine of 0, just carefully replacing all of the t's with zeros, and then we set it equal to negative 1. This is equal to negative 1. So cosine of 0 is 1, so this will be c1. Sine of 0 is 0, so this is c1 plus 0 equals negative 1. How convenient, c1 equals negative 1. So that would be the first value, of, the value of c1. So now let's use our other condition. So x prime of 0, this is equal to, so now we're looking at x prime, so this is negative c1 sine 0 plus c2 cosine 0, and that's equal to 8 this time, so 8 equal to 8. Sine of 0 is 0, so this piece goes away, so we get 0 plus c2, cosine of 0 is 1, and that's equal to 8. So c2 is equal to 8. So now we have c2. So now that we have c1 and c2, all we do is we plug them back into our x. So the final answer is x equals, so let's see, c1 was negative 1, so this is negative cosine t plus, and then c2 is 8, so this is 8 sine t. And that would be the solution to the initial value problem. So again, the, the differential equation is this one, x double prime plus x equals 0. So when you consider this differential equation together with these two conditions, you get what's called an initial value problem. So if you solve this differential equation, you get this, x equals c1 cosine t plus c2 sine t. So there's infinitely many solutions here because c1 and c2 can vary, right? They're arbitrary constants. So what we're doing is we're picking a particular one. We're picking the one that satisfies these two conditions. So what does that mean intuitively? The first condition tells us that it passes through the point 0, comma, negative 1. The second condition tells us that the slope at that point is equal to a. It's really, really interesting. Oh, and to type these in, you would just type it in like this, negative cosine t plus 8 sine t, and that would be the final answer. That's it.